I wanted to check in with G4 TV and see how things are going for their channel since they decided to tell fans, well, at least 74 million Americans that they're not welcome at G4 TV, X Play, or Attack of the Show. They're not welcome there. Don't want them. Don't need them, apparently. Well, how is that working out for them, I wonder? 17K dislikes on this video, by the way. But let's take a look and see. How is that working out for G4 TV? After, after this host, Frost, went on a huge rant, huge rant, went viral almost, Everyone was talking about it, right? No. <laughs> no. So I went and did a little search on Google, and I just looked up G4 TV. That should get me the results I w I'm looking for. Nobody's talking about that sexism rant. One article. G4 TV host speaks out against sexism in the games industry by Game Rant. That's it. Now, this is really strange to me because usually outlets would be all over this saying, yes, queen, yes, queen, slay, queen, you did it. This is the way. Like, there would be 50 to 100 articles praising this woman and what she did is brave, stunning, stuff like that. But that didn't happen. One outlet, Game Rant, that's it. That's it. I'm just kind of shocked by that because usually, like I said, like you'll see thousands of articles. Not this time. Not this time. It's like almost like it's just being ignored, which I find kind of humorous. But how did this do for their channel? Surely this is going to bring up Twitter. Non-gaming fans are going to jump in. They're going to want to be a part of this new courageous move by this host. They're really curious about the channel. Did it blow up G4 TV's channel? No. <laughs> in fact, they lost 2,000 subs. Uh, the views for this, too, by the way. Look at the views on this channel. Uh, kind of... Kind of low, especially for all of that big money that they have. I mean, they have they have a big backing behind them. I mean, they have nice new studios, equipment. They've got people working on set, and this is pretty pretty bad for that. But like I said in my previous video, what separates G4 TV from all of the other channels? It's the same shit. Just a bunch of California liberals talking about sexism and gaming and shit like that. Like, it's just, there's enough of those. This seems so fake. And then you've got hosts like Adam Sessler. Talked about this in my previous video. Uh, Bounding in the comics unearthed all of those tweets that the guy made. Where he literally talked about wanting to drink champagne while watching his Republican family members. Uh, get necked. That's really weird. That's really taking it to a new level. I got to say, like who says things like that, especially about your own family. I mean, that is crazy behavior. So maybe they're the right kind of people to run this channel, right? I mean, people are tight. These are the same type of people that sit on like Nerdist, IGN shows, like what am I getting new here? Nothing. But I just find it funny. They didn't get any subs. In fact, they've lost subs. And they got no coverage at all for that meltdown, which is almost unheard of. Hasn't trended on Twitter, really. Like, no one gives a shit. All they did was lose fans. Good way to start your company by, uh, or start your company's new relaunch or whatever. By telling fans to get fucked. That seems like a winning strategy, doesn't it? Really seems like they're doing a good job there. And she comes out and says this. My inbox looking like some weak-ass Xbox Live messages these days. Thanks for the engagement out of my stuff. Taking these clicks all the way to the bank. Really thin skin on this woman. And like I said in my in my previous video... 
about this is like she must be new to the internet or something. I'm not sure. Like as a content creator on this platform and, you know, on any platform, to be honest, like you're going to get trolls. People are going to talk shit. But for every like shitty comment, there's like 10 good ones. If you focus on the negative ones, you're just going to go crazy and it's going to turn you into like some kind of low cow, which she's on the way of becoming, to be honest, with the way she's acting about this. Like you can't you can't let it get to you like that. And you can tell it got to her. I don't know if she's just mad because people like the older hosts better. I'm not sure. But it just it was the wrong move. And. In effect, uh, she effectively destroyed that entire company. Like, they're never going to recover from this. And, and maybe they shouldn't. This was a bad business move. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Just some stuff I found interesting. Like, no coverage. No one's even really talking about this except, like, me and a couple of other channels. And they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. Nothing picking up here, so. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out also make sure you subscribe to yellow flash my other channel there's a link to that in the description as well i do a lot of live streams over there that i don't do on this channel They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal so make sure you follow me over there and sign up